Okay, carrying on from the last tutorial, we're going to show how to create the custom character mapping based on the character definition that we've set up here. So if we're working from this character definition that we've just made on the Rococo rig, um, what we can do now is come in here. I'm going to turn on my uh, the visibility of my um, other rig here real quick. And I'm just going to turn off the visibility of joints just so that we can see only the controls because it's actually the controls that we are going to be working with this time. So I come back into my human IK tab with my character one set up here. I'm going to click on this little button here. And if you look down in the bottom left corner, you'll see it says create custom rig mapping. All right. So this is showing me now a layout for uh, being able to assign different controls, uh, animation controls on a custom rig. And that's what's going to create the correspondence between the definition. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with whatever we consider to be our head control. And sometimes it's just good to kind of open up some of these tabs to just see what they're referring to. So this would be the neck, this would be the head. So if that's the head, I'm going to grab this top joint, or sorry, not joint, this top control up here. And I'll right click and say assign selected effector. Coming to the neck, I'm going to grab this one here. And now you'd have to, you'd have to figure out what those uh, uh, correspondences are. And the number of joints that you see in here is going to correspond to whatever is in your definition. So if I only have one neck uh, joint here, then I'm only going to have one option over in custom ring. If I have a bunch of them here, if I have four of them here, then I'd have four of them right here. Um, so now as we move our way down, we'll grab um, our, our upper torso and place that in here, assign selected effector. And then I'm going to grab my clavicle control, put that here on up here. And grab uh, for my arms. I pretty much use uh, FK, the FK controls, because primarily uh, the character is being controlled via FK throughout most of the animation. I only use IK when the character is kind of like pushing against something, so um, I can get away with that. So we'll just assign that there. It's a little bit different with the legs, as we'll see in a moment. So assign that and assign this. Now you'll notice that unfortunately this doesn't just automatically determine which controls. Are going to be used on the opposing side even if it is symmetrical so we have to directly tell it all right assign that and assign this now we're going to start out here with our um, <clears throat> sort of our hips control and it's going to be placed here and then we're going to open up the torso and we're going to choose three controls um, now, ultimately, these three controls should correspond to the relative locations of those uh, Rococo joints. So if we look at uh, the Rococo joints and we just kind of sort of look at it from either a front or a side view, um, this is the first joint here, and that's going to have to correspond to this one. So we'll take, let's see, actually, we're just trying to see which of these would best work. Maybe we could take this one here. That could be our first control. And we'll put that there. And then we have our next control here, which is pretty close to that one. And we'll assign that there. And then finally, this uh, last one can be at the top. So the only one that's really missing here at this stage is this one at the toward the bottom. And uh, also, we didn't grab, it's probably worth pointing out, that we didn't grab this one here because this is technically an IK uh, control. So for the most part, unless we're talking about the beginning and the end controllers here, we're only interested in the FK controls. Um, so we we'll leave the IK for, for other purposes. All right, so with that now, what we can do is we can come back here um, and we're gonna take a look at the legs. Now the legs are a little bit different because the legs primarily are animated in IK mode. And uh, that's all well and good. Um, if we start with the, the foot, for instance, we can assign that to the ankle there. Uh, the question is, and this is highly dependent on the way that you want to do your, your retargeting, you could have uh, the pole vector selected here as your knee, and that will work. Um, but alternatively, you could take the FK joint, or sorry, the FK control for this joint and run that as well. It just means that the pole vectors are not going to be animated via what we have here. Um, but for this case, I'm going to use them. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And I'll grab that one. And as a result, uh, what do we do about the legs? Well, 
uh, the upper leg. So for that, I'm just going to take both of my uh, switches here. I'm going to set them into FK mode and pop back into human IK here. And I'm going to grab my FK control and use that there. All right. So like I said, you could have used these controls for the knees as well, but I find personally that it works better when I use the pull vectors as far as my workflow is concerned. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna put these back into uh, IK mode. So now that we have a correspondence between these two, we can try to make um, our uh, make our inputs work. So we have our custom rig. It's asking for its source. What I'm gonna do first is, as always, I'm just gonna save before I do something that I may end up, uh, you know, damaging all the work that I've just done. And it's always a good idea to do, to do that. So we're gonna choose source. And if we choose stance, that's not necessarily going to give us what we want. So let's put that back to none. And let's go to our definition now. Let's go back to our definition and choose source from there. Now, we're not getting um, another option there that I want either. So why is that? This is sometimes happens, um, I've noticed, is that even though I've tried to be careful in the way that I've set this up, um, occasionally the... Um, it sort of fails to give me all of the options that I want under here. And if that's the case, um, I sometimes have to go back and redo some of this. So let me just have a quick look here. I'm just gonna pause real quick and come back to it just to see what is uh, the likely story.